Hello to you guys. Welcome, welcome. I hope y'all having a great day today. Today is Saturday, uh, September the 3rd. And this is for you, Aquarius. I got one Aquarius reading you on. I told y'all to watch it, but I got it locked because I'm not going to publicly shame this woman because I got more courage and balls than she does. I'm just gonna let her keep on doing what she's doing and she's gonna see that I wouldn't want to be played with. I'm one that pours out my love to everybody and I poured out my most. She thought it'd be funny to steal my story and I'm not gonna go on about it because this is a good reading for us, Aquarius. Oh, wow. So what it said is, uh, you sh on Tuesday, somebody needs to start being creative and put down a marker out here now. On Tuesday, something might be getting ready to happen. But you all might need to uh, make your own dreams come to life. Then here we got Rubalite. You got a passion and a purpose. Your enthusiasm gives you energy and motivation to work on a meaningful project that's near to your heart, see? And then we got Emerald that come out. This is about ceremonies and celebrations. It's a time of important life passages, such as weddings, birthdays, graduations, or anniversary. So, and then we got smoky quartz, clear negativity, release negativity from within or around you. That's why I just said I'm not going to let that read now. One day I might uh, let y'all see it. You know, but right now I'm not going to because uh, I have more respect than this woman does and I'm going to leave it at that. And But right now you're people seeing that this is your purpose. You have a passion for it. You're going to have some celebrations here soon because you learned how to clear all that negativity. That's what it means, Aquarius. I got some cards out for you already. And here's the... I'll save this and for the end, the romance one, okay? So here's the one, here's what I pulled out. You're somebody that keeps an open mind. Your mind is clear. You don't worry about Tom, Dick, or Harry or what they did to you. You don't worry. You keep your mind clear and, and smile. See that smile? Yep. These people can't get you down. And um, I'll read underneath. And they some person that has walked off from talking to you because spirit showed you they was against you and uh, and they didn't want you to have your own business and now God has given it to you because you're in your calling, see? You're in your calling and uh, you're bringing awareness to the way the human brain works on the inside. That's what I do over here. And uh, we're over here trying to heal our brains from all the bullshit that we've had in here on this earth plane. We're on our spiritual journey to heal ourselves. See, that's what you're doing right now, Corey. I love you, and if you're all doing the same as me, go ahead and hit subscribe and like. And you've got a lot of psychic energy and power inside of you, and soon enough, these people's going to know and see your power. See, they're going to know and see that you're true. Don't you worry, babies. And uh, nobody has permission to steal my ideas. And you're showing that says, just say no to all narcissists. Remember, they'll try to get even with you. Yeah, we know that. Because, you know, you're an intuitive empath, and, you know, it's a narcissist and empath uh, paradigm. Intuitive empaths are a unique kind that combines empathy and the ability to understand and share the feelings of others with their instinct and perception. This is a powerful gift, and you're going to have a lot of challenges along your way, and, and you've realized it. And uh, we're meant to rule the world together. We've done this in our past lives. We are royalty, baby. See, that's why you're royalty. And someone out here, some Aquarius out here, a new love is coming in for you that's going to make you feel like a king or queen. See? I got me one. And, oh, and it says someone is as solid as a rock hard, as stable love, and they carry live for you. They got that hard on for you, babies. They've seen the changes that you made for the better. They're not, they're not asking. You're not even asking them. They know. You, they, they're telling you. That they've seen all your changes. They know that you started moving beyond old ancestral patterns. That's why you, you're getting out of the narcissist ways and lying and things. You don't do that no more. And it says, if you try to fight or challenge me, I will always come out on top as the winner for my purpose is higher and greater than yours. See? And uh, you could be a laid-back, easy-going person. You just like being calm and showing others that by being calm, you can live in harmony with your partner. See? That's what I am. If y'all see me getting upset, it's because people was playing in my energy here on Tarot. Y'all understand that yet? That's, that's what I'm teaching y'all. I love y'all. Tell you the truth. So, we do like this. It says, uh, 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 
astrology is your, in your destiny, Aquarius. Some of you all out here, this is it. This is your destiny. I'm in my destiny, and uh, I'll, I offered up all my uh, my spirit team and uh, the things that's on the side of me. I offered it up for spirit, and I kept an open mind about it. And that's what you all need to do, because you know you was helping. You're bringing uh, awareness the way our mind works on the inside. That's why. And uh, down here it says. Uh, this person that's walked off from you, because uh, spirit showed you they was against you. It was a uh, grandfather sky helped you. Uh, maybe a passed over grandfather helped you. And if you look, grandfather sky pulled out a mystical cloud. So you're you're a mystic, you know. And uh, maybe uh, one of your um, great great grandfathers was a uh, Indian. Uh, this great-great-grandfather Indian spirit helped you from uh, blocking this person off that's that's who helped you and uh, you got a lot of psychic energy and uh, you know you got some of the wild helping you uh, you see that rainbow you envision that rainbow around you every day and nobody can't get to you uh, and then it was funny that spirit of the wild came out with embrace your inner gypsy this is about freedom fun and music you just let, uh, you might like listen to wild, wild music and uh, that's how you have fun. And this helps your psychic powers. Did you listen? And you're trying to heal your brains from all these narcissists. That's why stag spirit come out because you took the lead to show others. Maybe you're 58, but you have the courage and strength. You're a fearless warlord. Fearless warrior is what you are. Uh, you you got the courage to do anything in this life, baby, because you've endured a lot. You're you're able to speak about it. You've endured a lot from these narcissists in your life. And uh, intuitive empath, you're answering the call at the moment. Uh, maybe you're seeing a lot of rainbows. I've seen a bunch already right here. But uh, you you can feel your family's feelings like what they're feeling and thinking you're somebody that picks up on it and uh you respect others and people this is about kinship you're somebody that respects them and uh you're teaching them that they better respect you and your practice these tarot readers and understand that this is my call and you're not going to write my cards and pretend that that you thought of it when all you did is go around and look at the collective of readers and i'm going to shut up about it because everybody's going to see that i have a powerful gift and it comes with challenges. That does. And uh, we're meant to rule together, debate uh, together, cause we're royalty, baby. That's why. And that's why Spirit Keeper of the North came out with this snow card right here. This is your all's new beginning. You're all celebrating. And you're socializing. You changed for the better, cause Spirit Keeper of the North come to help you, to teach y'all that you're royalty, and maybe you all ruled where it's really cold in the world. That's where y'all ruled together and um, this new love it's coming they see the changes you made and they know that you're walking in beauty at the moment and and you're somebody uh, psychometry you can pick up on other sensitivity by you can pick up your psychic you can hold an object and you can tell people uh, what their past over person's feeling you're a person that knows how to do that and your person loves you, they see that, okay? And this raw card, stable, low, and carrying man, bye bye for you. They might live out in Arizona or Utah or somewhere where all in Red Mountains are. They know that you move beyond these old patterns in your family and that and that you're just like a free horse running down a road. Chippity chop, chippity chop, chippity chop. That's what you're doing. You're just hopping around, hopping around like an old horse. And your auger, you know, you're you're a master, you're master yourself, and maybe you can levitate. But you know, you're you're uh, mystical. Uh, you're somebody who has practiced this uh, for many many years. Uh, whoever you're listening to me, that's why that old ancestral come out with mastery right there. Do you get it? And uh, it says, if you try to fight or challenge me, I'll always win because my purpose is higher or greater. That's why another horse spirit come out, 33. Freedom is yours. And what that means is the Sin of Masters, the Sin of Masters, see this 33? 
my ascended masters is helping me with all these spells that's been thrown at me. Yeah. They was trying to stop what I was alchemizing into life, but they can't. That's the thing, they can't because they know that my purpose is greater than theirs because I believe my lineage back to the book of Joshua. And some of these trial readers are pissed off about it, but I can't help it, babes. I can't help it, babes. If y'all only know the rest of the story, and I'm not telling you, babes, because every time I tell something, y'all steal it, and I'm not. But I can tell you some more about the book of Joshua and how much more uh, strange that my story is, but I'm not. The names is what's the strangest. But uh, you can be a laid back, easy going person, and you just like being calm and showing others. And, and crows come around you a lot because you're co creating with spirit. 17, and I've got a shit ton of crows around me, baby. Telling you right now, I've got about a thousand. And during the winter time, they live around here. They stay around my house because I feed them. Are you listening? Yeah. And, uh, and uh, these crows let me know that uh, I was in illusion in fantasy land trying to search for something that was an illusion because that something didn't want me. So I'm trying to teach you all that. If somebody don't want you out here, that's an illusion. Are you listening? So get up out of your head over it. And you might be somebody that can go run some water and uh, or look into a bowl of water or look into runny water and you can see the future. Okay? That's what you used to do back in your old Indian lineage with crows, you know it? Look here, look, look, look how much like Indian come out. Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, what you say, hey, uh. My son that died is seven. My son that died is seventeen. Hey, uh, hey, uh, he helps me, he helps me. Hey, uh, it ain't a lie, hey, uh. All right, and it says, and I pulled all these out of my stack. It said, why do you accuse me all the time? Somebody's accusing you of doing something to them all the time. Uh, know that you're worthy, whoever's listening to me. You're worthy of uh, letting go of these old illusions. You're, you're worthy of it. Just let it go and don't let it bother you. Are you listening? And uh, quit trying to get my attention off of things that matters in my life. Oh, so this person that was accusing you of doing shit all the time, they didn't think that you was worthy, and they they might have let you go because uh, they was trying to get your attention off stuff that mattered. Are you listening? But you are worthy. You understood. This about freedom. Remember, that's why freedom horns come out. I love you, Spirit. Spirit loves me. And uh, you're worthy, and fear is in the eyes of the beholder. So remember that. If you think that you're not worthy, it's because you're not pushing through your fears and let go. And Divine Feminine is getting a huge comeback for all the work that you put in. Oh, babe, babe, because you know how to let go of shit that ain't for you. That's what it's coming to you. And uh, they think that they got us separated forever, uh, but but we're healed, so we will make it. See, it's me and my Divine Mask, and we made it. And, uh, and, and this is what mattered to me and they tried to take my attention off of it because I was loyal, dedicated, and a hard working woman and Divine Masculine sees you as the hardest working woman that he knows. He knows it. And you are for the people. And you work for the people. That's why you're worthy. So stop fearing people. And uh, Divine Feminine, you're getting a huge comeback for Let Go, and it said every time I ask a question about you, I get an answer immediately from the night sky because spirit works for you. That's why, because you're very worthy, and you're somebody that don't give your love and devotion away, and your Divine Masculine loves you for that, and and your courage will help you overcome all all adversary adversity uh, all these people is accusing you that you want to be free and away from your divine masculine you 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 overcome all that adversity there's liars and uh get up and get to it honey that's why you're worthy of it get up and push through them fears and if you expect me to help you in doing your dirty work how about figure out how to not do dumb shit anymore okay that's what i'm telling y'all uh it's and it says, you bring shyness out of any person you come across with your warm, compassionate, funny self because you don't give your love and emotion away. <laughs> you you pay attention to things that matters in your life. And it says, I've always been here throughout many lifetimes fighting to keep our love strong, Leo. 
That's why courage come out. You got a lot of courage, you're dedicated. And what's going on in your life now? Somebody's wondering what's going on in your life now. They want you to get up, get to it, and push past your fears because you're worthy to go towards that person, whoever's listening to me. I don't know whose story that is, but it's one of y'all's. It says, I can tell if you're lying to me, so come on and out with it, Divine Vasco. So maybe you thought Divine Vasco was lying to you at one time, and, and you're telling them, uh, you're not doing dirty uh, dirty shit no more, and uh, you're somebody that gets a question answered immediately because you put in the hard work and you let go of things that doesn't matter. And he said, look at you go now. They're getting curious of how you rose above it all because you quit putting your attention on all these other people. And this person uh, around has a mouthful of shit at the moment. They got a mouthful of shit and... Uh, it says, if you push me to the limit, I just might jump. This person uh, pushes you to the limit. They're trying to get you to uh, act out of character and say their name like this tarot reader is doing to me. That's why she pulled out in my energy all day Thursday. Nine fucking readings. Nine of them. 16, 16 just passed. Nine, uh, nine readings that I had. It was two of these L woman's names. And I'm going to blast them out if they don't stop. It's already uploaded on my channel. It's had a chorus reading. I got locked. Okay, so... If they keep stealing my cards and all my ideas, aha, uh -huh, I'm going to blast it so YouTube sees and it spits it out for everybody to see. I didn't, I, I don't, I don't rig up nothing, bitch. I, and y'all better not say I do. And that's how much spirit loves me. It spelled your fucking names. Both of you L's, Empress and Goddess. Both of you sell cards because you go around and collect and steal them. And uh, they just wanted to push you. And, uh, Cormics are so angry that you don't fall for their sneaky ass tricks. See? Yeah, no, no. We let go of that. Nah, we don't care. You can't you can't steal my story because the law knows it's mine, you dumb bitch. And they think they had you figured out, but they don't know one damn thing about how spirit helps you. <laughs> Pretending like you've not done a damn thing to you. To you. Watch how he gets treated from his new hoe. <laughs> they got a mouthful of shit now. Now what are you going to do, bitch? If you push me, bitch, I want to show you what I'm going to do because I am worthy. I push through my fears. I go after my goals and dreams. And I, I, I actually love being a beacon of light for you all. I actually love being a beacon of light for others. I do. I do. And someone is a fallen angel out here. Someone is a falling angel. Oh. So, you know, fallen angels is like Lucifer. Are you listening? So... Maybe one of you women out here is connected to a fallen angel. I don't know. Y'all go figure it out. But uh, here was the rest of what I got. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. But uh, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. It was a problem, but now it ain't. You're, you've helped Divine Masculine. And he's on a spiritual path with you. And because you made him keep an open mind and, you know, your soulmate is going to differ from your usual type and expectation. Remember that. And they got a passion for you, uh, your soulmate does. And y'all allow your all's heart and souls to sing with joy. Ooh, looky there. Looky there at your, your fallen angel is catching you. You see that angel man? He's catching you, woman. He's catching you up with passion. And it's safe for you to love. And you, you opened your heart and to give and receive the highest energy of all. That's what you start doing, see, bud, bud? Because this is true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. So see, look, Aquarius, all this pulled out for you good because, you know, you are, uh, you're worthy of it. You're worthy of it. You have the freedom to choose and do whoever you, you have the freedom, you're worthy of letting go of this one, 1919, somebody that doesn't treat you well. You gotta let go of that person, okay? And um, I actually love being a beacon of light for others. I teach of, pe of falling angels, uh, karmics. They're mad that their sneaky ass tricks doesn't help anymore. And you can tell when people was lying. And you're like, now what are you gonna do, bitch? If you keep pushing me to the limit, I'm gonna unlock that Aquarius reading and show everybody uh, What's going on in your life now? Yeah, because she put a thing up. Tarot readers against tarot readers. She did that today, too, I noticed. Well, 
I'm not against anyone. I was for you, motherfucker, until you started stealing my story and others in a collective that I noticed because I watched other readers other than just you, and you've been stealing a lot of her stories. So, no, I'm not against I wasn't against you. You're against us. So, get the story right. Okay, Empress? Goddess? Get, get the fucking story right. And uh, what's going on in your life now? Hmm? Don't worry about what's going on in mine peeking around, stealing my fucking ideas and others. You're, you're, you're all about free, 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 doing any fucking thing you want. And, and I miss, I'm a little dedicated and hardworking woman. And Divine Masculine knows it. And uh, and we get up and get to it, honey. That's what you need to do. Get up and get to it. Tell, tell your truths on the inside of what happened to you. And then you can tell your true story over our not life about incest, okay? And uh, your courage will help you overcome all adversity. Y'all got lying Leo in me. That's why. That's why I'm very courageous. That's why this... I, I, I fought many lifetimes to keep our love strong, Leo. This is my North Node. That's why I wrote that card, because my old man loves me. We're in our North Nodes. You get it yet? And uh, y'all can't accuse me of not being worthy. I'm worthy. And uh, you, w I am for the people. I work for the people. I work for you all. I don't ask you for any payment. I, I know how to let go of stupid shit. I, I have, and fear is in the eyes of a beholder. That person that's scared to push through their fears and tell their lies and truths that can't do it, that's that's your all. That's on you all. It's not on me. Divine Feminine, you're getting a you're getting a huge payback, comeback, don't worry. And uh, you you don't all these people think you're gonna do dirty work, no. And every time you ask a question you get an answer immediately because you know I'm a star see. You are too, Aquarius. Uh, we're rare. We're we're rare gems, baby. You're not stealing my stories anymore. Quit even stealing my titles and saying it in your fucking reading. You're you're stealing my collective, you stupid bitch. You're stealing my collective and then acting like I did something to you. You did something to me. You and 90,000 subscribers did something to somebody that had fucking little piddly 20 when you started stealing 15. See? God told on you. God. And if you don't stop, I'm going to unlock that reading. And it spells your name. La, 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 la. I know your name. And it tells la, la, illy. I done spelled it out, and I'm going to blast it out. And everybody's going to see what the fuck you're all really doing and what you're in. Because Spirit shot out all letters. All the letters. And right in real time so you could see me. So you could see me. And um, uh, pretending like you not done nothing to me, I know, as Spirit does. You got a mouthful of shit right now, stinky shit. And um, and uh, they think that they feared you out, but they don't know one fucking damn thing about you. Hm. Look out. Look at you go now. They're getting curious of how you rose above it all. Yeah, because I pay attention. I got smart mind and brain. You bring the shyness out of any people. You don't give your love and emotion away. They think that they got us separated, but we, we, we're, we're with each other every night, baby. And quit trying to get my attention off of the things that matters in my life. Yeah, they can't. They can't get you off the things that matters in your life. They've tried it, but they can't. And I hope this helps you today, of course. I'm going to get it uploaded so you can see. And I love y'all since I had to take out one reading and lock it. But if this girl keeps on playing, I'm going to let it out. And I don't give a fuck. I don't work for YouTube. I'm allowed to let them names out. Remember it, girl. Remember that I'm going to publicly humiliate shame you if you keep saying things about tarot readers against tarot readers. You're the goddamn one that started. It's not Pam. It's not Pam. I was upholding you. I give you $60. What'd you give me? What'd you give me? Uh, you come here and stole all my ideas, but you didn't give me shit. So, brown Egyptian cards, I'm going to really blast you out real good. And colored cards that you sell. So, I'm going to blast you out some more and really show everybody how fucking what you're all in. You and the two L's. All right, P says it's locked right now. And if she keeps up saying shit on her channel, the bitch, if she keeps on telling my story, I'm going to let it out. Because I'm not going to get in trouble. She will. All right, P says.